Gray Hill. Try this again for a sound check. Is it any louder? Offensive foul, Gray Hills. Elks ball. <laughs> Macy bringing it up to the top over to Bailey. Back over to Sis into Jalen. Macy for three. No good. Hawes with the rebound back up. Out of bounds, Mountain Valley ball. <laughs> Macy with a steal. Macy for two. <coughs> Foul on Bailey. Is two on Bailey. <laughs> Hannah in for Bailey. Pause with the steal. Heading down, good for two. Oops. Gray Hill driving to the wing. Pass up top, stole by Jalen. Jalen misses. <clears throat> In the corner to Macy, over to Haas, up, fouled, shooting two. First one's good. Second one's no good. Great heels with the rebound. Heading down the side. 
Past the middle, Jalen with the steal. And there's a score at the end of the first quarter. 25, Round Valley, Gray Hill 0. Gray Hills three, no good. Haas with the rebound. Kayla in the game now, coming down over in the wing to Sis, down to Haas, back up to Sis, over to Kayla. Swings it over to Hannah, inside to Haas, out to Jalen drives, misses. Haas with the rebound, put back. Hill swings across out of bounds. Elks ball. Bailey in for Hawes. Kayla coming up top. Swings it over to Hannah. Inside to Jalen. Back out to Hannah. Up top to Sis. Inside to Jalen. Out to Kayla back inside, up and good. Jump ball around Valley. <laughs> Caleb bringing across half court. Back over to Hannah. Down to Jalen. Inside to Bailey and up. Caleb with the rebound and a travel. Gray hit. Whoops. Camera operator. Messed up again. Gray Hills down in the block. Hands off. No good. Kaylee with the steal. Gray Hills to the wing, shot up, and they're no good. Bailey with the rebound, Kayla bringing it up.
Kayla over to Sis. Sis looking inside, gets it to Bailey. Swings out to Kayla. And to Jalen up for two. And it's good. Shot and miss, and Jalen with the rebound put back. Jalen with the second rebound over to Hannah on top. Sis swings to Kayla. Over to Bailey. Inside to Jalen up. No good. Taking it back out. Up top. Up top to Sis into Bailey. Bailey shoots. Scores. We are having sound issues. We unplugged the mic. Hopefully it gets better for you guys. Grandma Z just reminded me the score is 37-0. And the foul on number 11, which is who? Jalen. It'll be two for her. Let me know if the sound is working. I'm getting text saying the sound is not working. Haws up with the miss. Gray Hills with the rebound. Pass over the wing. Long shot. Miss. Still by Macy, out of bounds. Gray Hills back up top, down to the key, back up top. Out to the wing, looking inside, up with the shot. Rebound, Bailey. Kayla bringing up the court.
Kayla getting everybody lined out, swings it over to Bailey, back up top to Hannah. Back over to Kayla. In the, oh, Kayla with the save. Macy the shot, miss. Gray Hills with the rebound. Round Valley ball. While we're waiting for him to find the ball, we're going to give a shout out to little brother way back in Wisconsin watching his sister and brother play tonight. Lots of people asking about you, little brother. Hannah bringing the ball up top, swings over to Kayla. Macy with a shot, and it's good. 39. Zero. Gray Hills for three and a miss. Hawes with the rebound. Kayla with a double dribble. That didn't get caught. Over to Hannah. Back over to Bailey. She needs to shoot it. She does. Yeah, the miss. Hawes with the rebound. Back up. And a miss. And that's the end of the second quarter. 39.
Okay, we're back for the second half, and they made an announcement. They will be doing a running clock for both the third and fourth quarter. So the boys' varsity game will start earlier than scheduled. All right, I'm going to sit down here with Audi so we can make jokes. Hey, we'll have to get the official reps. Yeah, you're going to be there. Yeah. Well, we need a, we need a, a refs clarification. You better be ready. All right, tell me if the sound is working now. Live with the three pointer. And let me know if you can hear us. I am now joined by the remarkable Ryan Marble. In the Ryan and Howdy show tonight. I'm going to apologize now, folks. This could get crazy. Jalen with the rebound and got That's stolen. Awesome. Gray Hills up uh, again. Uh, Macy with the rebound. Up to Haas, back out to Liv, and uh, Jalen to Bailey to Jalen and a miss. An oh. offensive foul on Jalen. It'll be three. It looks like the Elks are going to make sure they get their passes in before they yeah. shoot. Co Coach Slade make them work on that passing, I think, tonight. And Gray Hills gets their first points on the board with a three-pointer. Congratulations, Gray Hills. They're now on the board. It's a game. It's officially a game now, right? And we're fighting at the top for possession. Throw it inside, the short corner, back up to the wing. And Hannah fouled. The gal will be shooting two. Come on, Ryan, we're a team here. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see how many fouls that is for Hannah. They haven't put it on the board yet. There we go. Wayne's got it now. And that'll be Hannah's first foul. 
And that first free throw is no good. Sis and Kayla in for Macy and Bailey. Sis with the rebound. Back out to Kayla, bringing it up top. Look at Sis getting some stats. Got to make a dad proud right there. Yeah. Oh. Sis with the turnover. Getting the wrong kind of stats. Wrong stat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just evening it out. She's evening it yeah. out. Great Hills for three and a miss. That'll be out of bounds. Round by the ball. I guess I could check this on here, huh? That's what I was going to do. And that's Hannah for two. And there's Haas with the takeaway. Elk's going back the other way. Kayla's back tonight. I see that. We, uh, I think she could have made the difference last night against Blue Ridge. But sometimes life happens, right? Exactly. At this point, it's 48 to 3. Gray Hills bringing the ball down the court. And it's going to be a double dribble. Stacy, would you like to clarify the call there? Does that was that a double dribble? Traveling? Something? After last night's game, I'm uh, I'm needing all the clarification I can get. And that's Hannah putting in another two points. And Gray Hills trying to pass the ball around the top there looking inside finally get it inside and a shot goes up it's no good rebound comes down to uh, Jolie Bigelow or sis as we all know her yeah all right sounds like her mics are working and Kayla for three just short and rolled off the back of the rim and rebound Gray Hills coming down the other way 30 seconds left here in the third period. And Gray Hills for three, no good. She gets her own rebound, puts up another jump shot. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Bailey. And she hands it off to Kayla coming the other way. And uh, Liv for three. That's going to be short and out of bounds. I'm going to call that off Bailey.
the defense. Yeah, we'd like to uh, give a shout out to some Elks fans across the United States, back in Wisconsin. To the Procknow family, Liv and her family, aunts, uncles. We hear they're Wisconsin. we hear they're on the live feed watching, and Liv having a heck of a game. Already knocked down a three pointer. Don't forget about Jolie and Holden's mom and little yep. brother out there. We shout out to little brother earlier. They're both out there watching with the Procknows in a different town. Yeah, we got we got some fans across the country here. Well, that's good. We appreciate the support. I'm glad we're able to bring the game to you. Another three by Gray Hills is no good. Work on their own rebound. And they're going to get the rebound, and we're going to get a foul call on on the Elks. If our fan base keeps up like this, ESPN might come in. We might get picked up. We will. The Remarkable Ryan and Howdy Show with guest commentating referee Stacy Gillespie. Our, our, our expert. Expert. Bailey with the rebound. Nice Florida pass. Hannah back out to Kayla. Elks moving the ball well, swinging it around the outside. Gray Hills looks like they're playing a, either a 2-3 or 1-2-2 zone defense. Elks will be able to find it inside to Bailey, and Bailey puts it in for two. That last foul they called on Bailey. That's three fouls for Bailey here in the fourth quarter. Gray Hills with another miss and a Round Valley rebound. Gray Hills did make one of those free throws. It's now 52-4 Elks. Make that 54-4 Elks. Gray Hills with the three. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound Gray Hills. And they get another three launched up there. It's no good. The Elks get the rebound this time. Kayla coming back the other way. We need to do some trivia like Wes does in football games. Well, let me look up some trivia. Howdy. Let me Let's do some trivia. We can do some trivia. We just got to look some up. <laughs> we, we, don't know anything. we don't know anything. We've got to look up trivia. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer them. That's for sure. We want Elks trivia, or are we going to do NBA basketball trivia? Let's do Elks trivia. So, this will go back 30 years almost to the great Dustin Johnson athlete at Round Valley and ball player, football, track, went on to BYU and then the NFL. Trivia question. Whoa. Oh, and there's a three ball by Jalen Wright. Jalen Wright Jaylen knocked that down. Three. So, trivia question. What number did Dustin Johnson wear in football? What number was Dustin Johnson's jersey in football? Basketball. Uh, varsity. Varsity. Round Valley. Varsity football. Text your answer to 928-245-4568. Howdy. I hope you know the answer to that because I don't. The answer is hanging in the dome when you walk in the door, so that'll give you a hint. If you're at the dome. Then you wouldn't be watching the game up here. <coughs> mm. 
Gray Hills for three and too much muscle. I'm still looking up the answer to that, Howdy. They said there's no sounds to What? And we got an injury. They said there's no sound. Looks like she's going to be okay. I think, uh, I think Granny Z's right. I think she has a cramp. But because a coach came out, I'm thinking she's going to have to leave the floor for a minute. Elks swinging the ball around, around the outside, looking for an opening down low. Macy looking for Kayla and throws it in there and it gets knocked away and Gray Hills with the turnover. Oh. And Gray Hills Two on the, on the Gray line. Hill. Elks moving that ball around again. And Bailey with the two point jump shot, no good. The mics are working. They're definitely working. <laughs> we, were, we were having some questions, but. <laughs> no text for Dustin Johnson's football and jersey Brindy number. And Brendan Haas with a three-pointer at the top of the key. And it rolls around and, and in. We're going to have to come up with some different trivia. Well, I'm going to keep looking, Howdy. I'm keep looking. Let me see if I can find it. Somebody's got to know it. But Lots of people know. I would think a lot of people would know it, but I don't. But they should have been Maybe able to look it up by now. They turn the sound off and just watch the game. Now, that's a good chance of that. Yeah. Can't say I blame them. Well, and at this point, it's 62-6. to six, uh, We may be the most entertaining part about this game, actually. But we're always entertaining. <laughs> Elks passing the ball around. 15 seconds left. Looking like we're just going to run that clock out. And everybody yelling for the Elks to shoot it, but they're going to go ahead and hold that ball and win the game. That's the classic thing to do, right? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. As much as we'd like to see him shoot just for fun, the classy thing to do is go ahead and just run that clock out. Elks are going to win this one 62 to 6. So we're not going to run the ads because we found out that's when we have part of our technical difficulties. So we'll just tell you some of our sponsors. Jody Emerald with her real estate company. I can't remember the name of it. I apologize, Jody. 
You want to buy a house? I, I believe we'll it's talk to Jody. Emerald Sanders Realty. Emerald Sanders. That's right, with Dustin. We also have White Mountain Regi- Regional Medical Center. Remarkable Ryan works there at times. Got some good doctors, from what I hear. Definitely some good physicians. We've got Trail Riders restaurant in eager you get hungry go get your steak and enchiladas and if you're going down the road and don't have any tra- traction on your tires go see Treadmasters. they'll hook you up with some tires brakes Car automotive repair. Who else do we have? Oh, Coach Poston and his real estate group also, which is oh dear, is it Brown Invest? Talk to Coach Poston. Also, part of proceeds go to help Down Syndrome. Research. I'm, I'm working on uh, getting a list here from Wes so that we can make sure that we announce and uh, recognize our sponsors. Because without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do it. Howdy. Also, HD Diesel. HD Diesel. Can't forget HD Diesel. Need your truck fixed, your backhoe fixed. Welder extraordinaire. Pipe fencing, barns. Or if you just want to come by and get advice. Or just hang out in the shop. Or hang out in the shop. Never a dull moment in the HD diesel shop. Come by and see Howdy.
All right, Alex fans, we are coming to you for the boys' varsity game. And the tip off, controlled by the Elks. And holding with a nice dish on the cut by Carson. Carson with the layup, no good. But AJ with the rebound and the putback is good. So Elks able to put two points on the board real quick. Starting for the Elks tonight, if you didn't hear, we got number 12, Bowie Ziegler. Number 34, Holden Bigelow. Number 14, Carson Gillespie. Number 15, AJ Dozier. And number two, Charlie Whiting. And Elks quickly put another two points on the board. Elks playing a zone full court press. And already picked up two steals and six quick points. And there's another steal by Holden. Holden. Two Brody, 4-2. This is going to get ugly quick, I think, Howdy. It's 8-0 to zero already. Yeah. Good hands there by AJ. Another st another steal by the Elks. Carson going to set up the offense. He swings it to the left side. To Brody down to Charlie. Charlie looking for AJ. In the post, AJ on the block, and it's up and in. And that's real quick, 10-0. to And Grayhill is finally able to break that press and get it to uh, past half court. We're going to get a foul call on number 14, Carson Gillespie. What was he thinking? Uh, let's ask uh, our expert official. Was that a foul, Stacy? Absolutely not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a foul. It was clean. Bad call. <laughs> and uh, Gray Hill's trying to put up another shot. It's no good. Gets blocked. Charlie with the rebound. Brody with a three. No good. AJ with the rebound. Who got the three seconds? Was it Charlie Carson? Pick one. Our, our expert official tells us pick one. Could have been any one of them. One of them. That's a, a three second call on the Elks. And Gray Hills. Just makes it past half court, and it's stolen again by the Elks. But on the up pass up court, Brody can't control it. Bounces out of bounds. Gray Hill's going to have another try. And we're going to have another steal by Carson with the left-handed layup, and it's up and in. Made that one. And on that note, 12-0, to zero, we're going to get a timeout by the Gray Hills coach. She's seen enough, Howdy. She's going to talk it over with her team. If you're Gray Hills, what do you do in this position right here with a heavy press? Brown Valley has three boys up in the front court that can run like deer. What does Gray Hills need to do? Well, that's a good question. And in all honesty, Howdy, in years past, it's been uh, Round Valley trying to figure out the uh, solution to that problem. <laughs> Against some of these reservation teams, they were uh, they had a pretty yes, nasty it press. Was. Got to take control of the ball, be strong with it. It's nice to see this year the tables have turned and the Elks got a good press. My, how the turn tables. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've uh, managed to break the press. Some good ball handling and ball movement. That's usually what it takes. Oh, and he travels. Oh, uh, we're going to get a traveling call. I think our expert ref, if he was paying attention and saw that, might disagree. He's trying to get his football game to work. How are the How are the Eagles and Giants doing, Stacy? Twenty-one zero Eagles. For any of you who aren't keeping up with the uh, tonight's football game, somebody getting after Holden, tell him to shoot it. Back out to Carson, who's going to hit a three. Oh, 
Just short. Maybe not. Is that short or long? Elks That's with the short. rebound. Over the top to Ziegler. And the Charlie go up. Carson for three. And we're going to get out of bounds on Gray Hills. Looks like he stepped on that line. Yeah, I think Holden was being a bully and kind of pushed him. Well, Holden is good at that. He tends to bully a lot of people. Yeah, he's... He don't know his own strength. He doesn't. I think, actually, on that play, he did set the uh, position on that baseline. He did good. Gray Hills trying to remember to bring the ball with him. And they've got it past half court. Carson putting good defense on the dribbler. Oh, Siggy got beat off the ball. 43 has some moves. He can beat Ziggler. If he can beat Brody, he's got some moves. Alex able to swing the ball and find the open man. Another sponsor for the Round Valley Elks is Cason Brick, Carson Brick Building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is a great game for him to find his range, that's for sure. <laughs> Charlie with the steal. Ziggy bringing the ball up. Over to Holden, who needs to shoot it. And he does, puts it up. And he is short. And I think we're going to. Charlie for two. That's a good ball moved by the Alex and assist by Carson. Charlie able to put that one in. And great hands by Ziegler, able to. Swipe that ball for a steal. Elks moving the ball again. Carson in the corner. Oh! Carson in and out. Again, good ball movement. Good Charlie with a nice inside move. Nice little eight foot jumper, and it's good. It's a good look by Carson finding him on the cut. Good hands by Brody there playing the point on that press. I think that's a great spot for Brody. Got them long arms, his intensity. Able to put some pressure on the ball. Get him in shape too, there he goes again. Yep. And with another steal. Oh, Charlie thought he was running a 32 dive there. <laughs> Met the backer in the hole. <laughs> Up top to Holden. Inside to AJ, almost with the... Back out to Charlie and Ziggy for two. Nice shot, Brody. A good looking jumper right there. Brody's got some family in the house tonight. Grandma Z sitting behind us here. Cheering him on. Carson up four. And air ball. Hmm. And Gray Hills trying to put something together. 33 with a drive. And uh, Carson with a steal. Knocks that out of his hands and Charlie picks it up, going the other way. Again, Elks working on their ball movement. AJ, looked like he uh, might have got grabbed there. Or, or somewhat of a block, but managed to get the ball up and in. Carson with a steal. Brody with another two points, putting it in the bucket. Elks up 22 to zero, 35 seconds left in this first period. 
And there's another turnover. Carson comes up with the ball, finds Brody. Oh. Brody gets caught. Refs are letting him play. Holding for two. Off the front of the rim. Holden's wanting a job with Carson's block lane. <laughs> hey, and there Gray Hills got guts their first two points. Half court shot, shoot it. Shoot Hit it. it! And Holden. We'll be taking Holden to the doctor to get his ears checked. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two to two, end of the first quarter. Hey, Holden has some class. He he realizes that there's no reason to pile it on. It's true, but that's a good point, Stacy. It's it's not the end of the game. You're right. So let's take a look at the crowd. Who we got here with us tonight? There's got to be a good 75 people here. <laughs> Student section, they might have to bring another set of bleachers in for as many people as here. Yeah, yeah not, a, uh, not a huge student section tonight. I think... All right. Coming out for the second quarter. 22 to 2. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have done that. New group. Yeah, coming out in this second quarter, we got number one, Riker, Marvel, number 30, uh, Staten, Wilson, number five, Casey Williams, number 10, Trace and Merrill, and number 23, Brett Jordan. And right off the bat, we're going to get a foul call on the Elks. Was that a foul, or are we getting? Was that just an out of bounds? I think it's just an out of bounds. Just an out of bounds. No foul. Out of bounds. Off the Elks. And Trey with the takeaway gives it to Riker. Riker feeds it up to Williams for an easy two-point layup. Elks. Going to drop back into a half court defense, which I think is probably a good move. Yeah. It looks like they're going to play uh, a 1 2 2. A 1 2 2 zone. And number 33 managed to make it inside, but this shot been no good. Elk's moving it back down the court fast. Riker finds Stat and Wilson for a two point layup. <laughs> And Gray Hills swinging the ball around the outside. 43 with three-point oh. shot, no good. Trey trying to pull down that rebound, but manages to lose it out of bounds, and it's going to be Gray Hills' ball. Trey with some good hands. Knocks it out of Gray Hills' hands, and it... It's going to go out of bounds off Gray Hills. Good ball movement. Found the big man down low. Trey for two. Gray Hills with some good ball movement. We're going to get a foul. I believe is that on number number 30, Staten Wilson. Staten? Staten Wilson going to pick up his first foul. That pass into the corner is going to just skip off the line. And that's going to be a turnover, Elks ball. And Riker on the wing to Staten.
Pulls up for three. No good. Trey and Riker fighting over the rebound. Riker finds Staten again inside. And he gets a two. Count it. He travels, well, Staten. We thought we were going to count it. Thanks for playing. But that's going to be a, a travel. A travel. <laughs> Grandma Z, we will call the law in if you don't calm down back there. Grandma, Grandma Z is not happy with that call. Grandma Z is unhappy with the rest. Expert, expert official, Stacy Glasby. Was that a good call? Staten didn't think so. Stacy, come on now. Little guy's shy tonight. I think he's uh, worried about offending his fellow officials. He's. <laughs> Yeah, you're with Grandma Z on that one, are you? I I would have to agree. You and I both know, though, it's all about angles, perception. And we're gonna get a foul call again. Uh, this time it looks like it's gonna be on number twenty-three, Brett Jordan. Yeah, that's his first. Gray Hill's going to inbound the ball on the baseline in the corner. And they find number 40 inside, but kick it back out for a three-pointer. And that's no good. Trey with the rebound. Elks pushing the ball up. Williams up to Brett Jordan. Brett to Riker. Top of the key. Riker finds Trey down low. Nice. Look, Trey able to put it in nice and easy. And Elks up 32 to 2 with four and a half minutes, four, 445 to go in the half. Gray Hill's attempting to take it inside, and that ball gets stolen. And Riker finds Casey Williams for an easy two point layup. How you're uh, a little quiet. Just enjoy the sounds of your soothing voice. I got a shout out to Howdy, who uh, not only is trying to commentate, but he's also our cameraman for tonight. Don't tell him I'm the cameraman. They're, cu they're cussing me. <laughs> trying to answer texts from the boss of the video equipment. Talk and. Move the camera. And Elks move the ball well. Find a trade down there on the block. Be able to put it in for two again. I think at the rate we're going. Oh, and they stepped across. Round Valley ball. Stolen by Gray Hills. They come down the court. He drives the middle up and no good. Ball getting thrown around. Tracing recovers. Out to Staten. Over to Riker. I was going to say earlier, Howdy, I think at the rate we're going, Trace and Merrill might end up with 50 points in this second quarter. He might. Uh, he's not getting a whole lot of challenges down there on the block. There's another steal by the Elks. Uh, up to Williams for two. Kaysen with a steal and a layup. Well, a, with a team like uh, team like the Elks got this year in this kind of game, there's really 
no one else they could put in to get some experience. Elks are no. pretty deep this year. Maybe practice your four on five drill. Yeah, maybe not a bad idea. Take a player or two out. Brett with the steal. And there's a steal by Staten. Up to Kaysen on the left side and puts it in with the right hand. Oh. And See fancy footwork by Gray Hills with the Euro step there, huh? Yes, sir. And able to put that one in for two. And Kaysen misses the three. Trey with the rebound and the putback. Well, you kind of have to feel a little bit for Gray Hills at this point. We're going to call it a, a rebuilding season for yeah, Gray Hills. Yeah, that's, that's tough it's on a program when you get beat up like this in a lot of games. And But credit to the, the players of Gray Hills and the coaching staff for keeping it going. It takes a lot to show up to practice every day when you face teams like this and get hammered. Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Elks have definitely had their years of being beat up. You gonna tie a shoe for him, Heidi? <laughs> oh, and inbounds pass is just <laughs> a rocket right at Casey, who manages to wreck. <laughs> Manages to reel that one in and gets it up to Staten for a layup. Not quite sure what the plan was there, but. Alex with another steal. And at the buzzer. Brett not able to get that ball off for another shot. So that will be the end of the second quarter and halftime. And... While we have a moment, we will go over our list of sponsors who we'd like to thank for making this possible. Making it so that Let's Go Elks can bring these games to you live. Uh, first sponsor is, I'd like to mention, it's Altitude Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. Altitude.life. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Sessions. One hour sessions that use pure oxygen and below sea level pressure to increase the body's ability to function at optimal performance. Great for injury or surgery recovery, strengthening your immune systems, and many other health issues. Call or message to see how Altitude can help you. Our other next sponsor, Arizona's Choice Insurance, 928-333-3333. Local broker for our community. Call today, find out all the different ways that Bryce and his staff can help you. If you got insurance needs, give them a call. Backwoods Tees. You can find them at backwoodstees.com. Backwoods Tees has been serving the White Mountains since 20, 2017, offering embroidery, screen printing services to create a variety of custom apparel, including hats and patches. Visit backwoodstees.com to see our large selection of apparel or find us at Facebook for more information. More information. Emerald Sanders Realty. Call Jody today for a realtor for a realtor that's been in the business at least since she sold Wesley's first home in 2008. Uh, Jody's been doing it for a long time here in the White Mountains. Give her a call if you're looking for a house. Farmers Insurance Agent Troy Merrill. Again, talking about insurance. Give Troy a call and talk about life insurance. 
in the risk involved in everything we do. Local great supporter of Round Valley's youth and athletic programs. Always there to sponsor. HD Diesel, 928-245-4568. HD Diesel and Welding Services. Equipment repair on all makes of large equipment. Fences, barns, gates, and welding repair. HD Diesel, your welding extraordinaire. Landmark Homes, Coach Adam Poston. 928-245-6499. He's our boys varsity head coach. 10% of all of his commissions go towards the organization Sharing Down Syndrome. Great charity that can go to, to helping those with, sound, with Down Syndrome. And we'd appreciate Coach Poston and all the time he puts in for these boys and for the Elks basketball program. With Trail Riders, you guys hungry? Trail Riders is your place, 928-333-1446. Call for takeout, pick up, or join them Friday nights for the fish fry, prime ribs weekends. Schedule your Christmas party with them and their conference room. Trail Riders, always a great place to eat. Got a variety of different things and great service. And finally, we have Treadmasters Tires and Loop. Your local tire specialists. Need a set of tires? Come see Treadmasters. Need your oil changed? They're there for you as well. And with that, we will take a short break for halftime and we'll be back for the second half.
Welcome back to the second half with Remarkable Ryan and Howdy. And Remarkable Ryan and Howdy show. That's going to be catchy. Yep. And oh. we're going to start it off with a steal Carson. by Carson, and the layup is good. He almost outran that layup. Dadgum kids fast. Three-pointer by Gray Hills is no good. Going to go out of bounds, and that'll be the Elks ball. Elks moving the ball around the top on offense. Find Charlie inside for a jump shot, no good. Rebound. Make it around to AJ. AJ looking for Brody on the uh, the baseline cut. And and it blues in the ball, and it's going to go back to Gray Hills. And Gray Hills trying to work the ball around the outside. Elks playing a tough defense. I don't know. Holden was up in the middle. I don't know if it's two, one, two. And Gray Hills able to get shot off, no good. Oh. And on the rebound, we're gonna get a loose ball foul on number twelve, Brody Ziegler. Brody the bully. Brody's bullying. Pushing the guy down. It's taking notes from Holden. Yeah, they hang out together sometimes and don't know their own strength. Pick up each other's bad habits. <laughs> Oh, Oof, that's going to be a nasty block Man, by AJ that one Reminded me of Hakeem the Dream on that one. Just almost in the stands. <laughs> you just dated yourself, Howdy. Yeah. Most of these kids don't know who Hakeem the Dream is. Oh, and there he goes. We're going to go to our back in the official review. Did Holden foul that guy? His belly did. Uh, bullying as as usual. Bully. Holding the the court bully. He didn't. Oh. 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 Alex with quick hands, knocking the ball away, almost with the steal. Going to go out of bounds off of AJ. Yeah, Holden didn't want Brody out doing him on the bullying, so he had to. Hey, this is how it's done. Yeah. Creates competition within the team to better themselves. That's right. That's right. And we're going to get oh a no. steal by AJ. Oh, no. is he going to dunk it? Oh. Nope. He made the attempt, but we're going to get a foul. He tried, but it's a good way to get hurt sometimes when. Looks like he's going to be okay holding that left shoulder. Yeah. Was it the left shoulder? Right shoulder? Left shoulder. Ref checking on him, make sure he's okay. <laughs> Pretty sure the ref's just giving him a hard time. Hopefully. He should. He should give him a hard time. Yeah. Somebody that big shouldn't be missing a dunk. I'd give him a hard time, too. Well, in his defense, he did get, he got hacked pretty good. He's 6'8". Granted, granted, he got hacked by a guy half his size, but... Be blowing boogers on people. Should be blowing boogers on people. Hey, he knocked down that first three throw. Oh, missed the second. Out and got the rebound. Yeah, see that? Good hustle by AJ. And Charlie. Nice high post feed down low to Charlie, Charlie on the block. Points tonight. He's, tr he's trying to increase the stats. He's doing a good job at yeah. it. Make that points per game average go up. Oh, and there we go. Gray Hill's oh. able to put one in. Carson has to has a way with fouling everybody when they make their shot lately. See if uh, Gray Hills can get the end one. Is that number 51? Gonna put up that free throw. And it's good. No, it's number 50. 
able to knock it down to complete the three-point play. That's seven points for Gray Hills. 57-7, Elks leading. Great ball movement again. Charlie putting another one on the board. He's going for the high point man of the night. Man. A little bit of selfish play there by Charlie underneath <laughs> by himself. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I told you, he's uh, trying to get those stats, that average up. And there's a nice feed to Carson on the fast break for another two. Carson not to be outdone by Charlie. He's trying to catch up. Oh, and I'm like the guy was tired of dribbling, just decided <laughs> to give it to AJ. I'd like to call it a steal, but <laughs> he handed it right to He him. gave it to him. <laughs> Next game, we will be charging for this live stream. The AJ's first free throw is no good. Has reached a level that we need to charge money. And did he knock them both down? He missed the first. Missed the first one. Knocks down the second one. Or did he make both? I, he missed the first. I was. I was right. And double screen there for number 33. And he's getting trapped in the corner, but he oh finds no. number 50 on the baseline oh. up and no good. Carson Missed with the it. rebound. Dang it. Alex lucked out on that one. Charlie looking who he can feed to. Add some more points to someone else. He's tired of scoring, apparently. And he gives it up to Carson. Carson able to put that one in. Yeah. I think if if, if Charlie would have known that that was going to be Carson putting it in, he might not have passed that ball. He may not pass. Because Carson has got to be giving him a run for high point man. Well, and I was wondering if Carson was going to set up two locations with his brick company, but <laughs> apparently he's just sticking with one. Yeah, he's... uh. Well, he's gone on summer vacation, I think. Redeeming himself there. <laughs> or his dad told him to quit shooting threes. <laughs> he hadn't shot anything yet. He just had layups. Well, you know, he's figured out where his comfort zone is and sticking to it now. Get it! And uh, Carson with another two points oh. off the uh, nice Gray Hills turnover. Taking him out in the legs. <laughs> Can't let him have all them points. Somebody needs to let know, let Charlie know it's getting close. Yeah. I do forget Trey. Trey's got to get be up there too. Yeah. And that's. You, you think? Yeah, Kaysen had a lot of steals for layups Kaysen, too. Kaysen does have a lot of layups. Between yeah. between Kaysen, Carson, Trey, and Charlie, it's a battle. Oh. And we're gonna get a turnover. Charlie with a turnover. I think. Should have been selfish. I think Charlie's thinking if he just turns the ball over, nobody else can score. <laughs> That'll keep him on top. Holden with a steal. Nice steal for Holden. Holden going to bring the ball up oh. the court. I think Coach must tell him they got to pass so many times <coughs> before they can shoot at this point. Oh, I guarantee. Otherwise, Carson would have fired up that three. See if he could build another house or two. I'm really hoping he knocks one down, Howdy. He needs he needs it, I think. There it is, right there. That's the one. Off the glass. Off the glass from the corner. I'm not Stacy, I'm not sure that's even possible. I, I'm saying that's just pure skill to be able to Bank one from there? From the corner? Yeah. That's. I got no words. Precision shooting. Precision shooting. Gray Hills, another three. That Holden one's not going to go. Off a 
fly. Well, luckily he didn't bully him and yeah, knock him down or something. Throwing him into the stands there. I knew that was going to be the one for Carson. I knew it. I think they're literally counting as they pass it. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Giving it up to Brody for two. Charlie yeah. looking to do some service work this game for others. Well, I think now he's trying to see if he can have the assist lead. Yeah, he's got to. He wants to be on top in all categories. Triple double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And there's two more for Carson. AJ and Carson putting some pressure on up top. So, first the first time Round Valley played Gray Hills, the final score was 72 to 5. Uh, I believe you're correct. And we have 49 seconds both left. Both teams have beat that mark. So both teams have improved. And we still got a quarter to play. And we still have a quarter to play. So lots of lots of time left. While, while we're on this uh, timeout, quick timeout, I'm going to run through our sponsors again. We got Altitude Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy, Arizona's Choice Insurance, Backwoods Tees, Emerald Sanders Realty, Farmers Insurance Agent Troy Merrill, HD Diesel, Landmark Homes Adam Poston is your agent trail riders and tread masters tire and lube coming out of the timeout gray hills trying to regroup group give it to him Fan base it. and aj Bozier Gets the fast break and able to throw one down. Kind of reminded me of Brittany Griner on that dunk there. And his <laughs> the power. Uh, let's hope AJ don't listen to that, Howdy. <laughs> He's a big guy. I don't know that you want to pick a fight with him. Well. Hey, it's been a while since we've seen an elk put one down like that. So we'll take it. Brittany good. Griner style or not. That was good. And his, his mom, Miss B, she made sure. To let us all know. Oh, I didn't move the camera from the last time. Sing it. Yeah, we got to give a shout out to Miss B. She's always here. Now, yeah, where is Miss B? She is. Uh, she's behind the Elks bench. Right now. I, I mean, how do you oh, not know where she is? Did you not hear the Round yeah. Valley Rednecks shout yeah, out? Yeah, but she hasn't been loud today. I guess. Well. Everybody's kind of. And she came out loud when uh, AJ put that one down. So, shout out to uh, AJ's mom, Miss B. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Elks up, seventy-seven to seven. All right, Elks fans, we're back. Fourth quarter action. We've got a new group in. We've got that second group in, and right off the bat, Brett with a nice block. We're up 70. Elks swinging the ball around. And we're going to get a traveling call. Oh. Nice feed inside of Trey. And Trey got caught taking an extra step. Gonna say that's 
one of the few turnovers we got tonight. But I'm not going to complain. And there's Williams with another two points. In that uh, running for the high point man, he wasn't about to give that ball up right there. Pass it to Stratton next time. Mm. <laughs> Stratton. That would be Stratton. Stratton. Howdy. Stratton. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. And the Elks going to pull it back out. Move that ball around. And Brett knocks down that three. Apparently the whole team has turned into bullies. Bunch of bullies. Kind of. Oh, and there's a steal by Riker. He finds Kaysen, who gives it up to Brett. Of course. He gives it right up to Brett's chest and right off his chest. Back to Kaysen for two. Elks with their got to get their five passes in, and they find Staten on the baseline for two. Staten Wilson knocking it down, out of boy. Now, howdy, what do you do if you're the Elks? I mean, can't stop playing. You gotta still play and get your practice in, right? At least. Yeah, get. You can only do so much, and then it looks even worse if you don't. So. Yeah, and it's uh, it's unfortunate for Gray Hills, but again, stick with five or six passes, and then. Yeah, no reason to be launching threes or. Yep. They should uh, definitely use this opportunity to move the ball, work on moving without the ball, finding the open man, hitting the cuts, maybe work on some of those fundamentals, boxing out. Oh. Defensively moving your feet. And uh, Staten with the rebound off that free throw. Going to get a timeout. Timeout by Round Valley. By Round they Valley. Get over, see what changes they can do to. I I hate to say it, but I think something. I think we're going to hit 100 whether we want to or not. I don't know. I bet he. As a coach, I wouldn't. I would. I would. And I hope he doesn't either. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not sure that. They can avoid it at this point. There's still three and a three and a half minutes left. Well, a couple of them are gonna have to take a maybe make it ten passes. Howdy. Take one or two for the team and just throw it out of bounds. Yeah. Well, hundred definitely wouldn't be uh, hard to do, but I'm with you. It's not a, not needed. That's for sure. Maybe back that defense off a little bit. Give Gray Hills an opportunity to uh, improve their offense. 
drop into a two three and just put your hands up. And it's going to be out of bounds off the Elks. It's pretty tough, though, to, to, to pull in the reins when uh, after a game like last night, you lose to Blue Ridge by two points. Yeah, with these last three minutes, they need to... Uh, Probably back it off a little bit, wouldn't you agree? Well, at this point, who can we make fun of and what jokes can we make to liven this up a bit? Um, who can we make fun of? There's a three point shot up by Gray Hills, no good. Staten pulls down a rebound. Coach Poston's still on his feet. <coughs> How long time he sits down is when the refs make him sit down. Yeah. I'll be tired of standing through this game. Well, you and me are lazy, so we enjoy sitting here and just announcing. Charlie to... And I, Break it to 90 there. And I gotta, I gotta say this. I gotta, I'd be amiss if I didn't mention that that technical last night was on Bishop Hunt. Was on Bishop Hunt. And I'm not gonna lie. I think he was quite disappointed himself and took it pretty hard. Did he? I believe he did. And uh, but I think most of us are just proud to see him show some emotion and. Yeah, he's kind of come out of the shell. He hung around me a little too long and was getting nervous that. He might start swearing or something. So <laughs> well, now when off, now he's gotten a little I, 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 aggressive. I, I'm pretty sure that that uh, the technical was. Stacy, do you, do you know what that technical? Uh, yeah, it wasn't. Uh, did he stand up? Is that was the problem? Yeah. The ref was just a little uh, antsy on his t. Well. I'm okay with it, cause uh, we don't want Tom getting out of control. Yeah, I mean, the ref I just need to make his technical quota for the week, and he was <laughs> needed one. Well, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Bishop Hunt out of control, but Mandy, Mandy's seen Bishop Hunt out of control, yeah. and it's dangerous for everybody. Just I mean, throwing ace wrap everywhere. <laughs> Acupuncture needles coming at you. Unlike you, uses the longer needle and sticks it all the way through. <laughs> oh! Oh, Gray Hills. Gray Hills. Look at that. Got to double digits. Knocking down a three pointer. And uh, with That'll the running. Bring it to an end. Running clock at this point. I'm going to go ahead and call the game. But good for Gray Hills. They, like you said, Howdy, they improved. They got more points. They, they doubled. Did. They doubled they their doubled. points from the last game. So they have. And there's Dozier's mom. Yeah, Miss B. Giving the old shout out to the Elks basketball program. You know, program. we were wondering in our post game report here who to make fun of. We forgot about. Troy Merrill. Ah, there he is. Good old Coach Merrill. Look at look at him doing his part. Cleaning up the stands, yes, you know, taking care of the dome. Taking care of the dome, these facilities. Always looking out. Look at him. And doesn't he? Doesn't he look good? Look at him wearing his his uh, Lululemon uh, joggers. <laughs> joggers. I mean, nobody can wear those like Coach Merrill. <coughs> oh, Swaggy, Coach Swaggy. Yeah. Does Coach Swaggy know he's called Coach Swaggy? Oh, okay, good, because Coach Swaggy, he does. You get him on the court wearing them swaggy baggy pants. Yeah, he looks good, too. So. Boy, she did a good job. Good job. 
There he is, Coach Merrill. Give us a wave, Coach oh, yeah, Merrill. There you go. Give us All a right. wave. Looking good as usual. Yeah. yeah. He's just, yeah. Look, love it. Yeah. yeah. Pumping that love bicep. It. All right, All folks. Right, well, it's been fun. Howdy. Howdy and uh, Remarkable Ryan Show. Going to call it a night for you. We'll be back here, uh, what, next week sometime, hopefully. We have Monday against Hopi. That will be a exciting game. Should be a good game. Do not miss it. Hopi definitely one of the better teams in the, uh, what is the 3A North region? 2A North. 2A North, North, North region. Correct. So, uh, we'll, we'll see you then. Howdy. Ryan. Remarkable, Ryan. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're good night, everyone. Good night, folks. <laughs>